predict him moving into that? Yeah, man, I drove that kick about, you know, 2,000 times before I even stepped in that game tonight. So you, you were ready for him? I was ready for him, 100%. I mean, obviously, but yeah, I was definitely ready for him. And do you think that's going to be the $50,000 a night for you? Dude, if that's not $50,000, that's the first time he's ever been knocked out in his whole entire career and off a sidekick to the leg to a spinning hook kick. Yeah, that's 50 Gs. Do you think that that compares with Edson Barbosa's spinning back kick? That that's just that tops it. Tops it? That tops it. Absolutely. <laughs> Why does it top it? <laughs> no, that shit was beautiful. Yeah, so, so is his. I was just wondering if you thought there was something that you did to set it up that made him look nicer. No. No. Do you remember watching that kick and saying I could do something better than that? No, at the time, I, when he did that, I couldn't even throw a spinning hook kick. Wow. Yeah. Or spinning anything. Did you work specifically on that? Did you see, because you said on Thursday that you think he has not evolved enough, that he's you know, fairly similar over the years. Did you see this opening? Yeah. Yeah, man. We watch a lot of tape on him, and uh, he always has the same defensive tactics. He likes to pull to the same side every time. He likes to circle to that side. So yeah, I mean that's something I created myself. It's my own time that technique, and so we were fine tone tonight. What's going through your mind when you actually nail it? Oh, nothing. There's, there's no mind in the fight. It's just actions and reactions. Instantaneous. You seem really relaxed in there. Uh, second fight in the UFC. How, how did it feel to you know, go in there and get that spectacular? Fucking spectacular, man. Like, it, uh, it doesn't top that right there. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. A guy's never been knocked out to knock him out like that is just, it's top, top notch. And you showed a lot of heart in that fight with Tony Ferguson. How important was it to go here and make a statement to let the rest of the division know that, hey, you're here to stay? Yeah, not just the rest of the division, man. The entire world, everybody, everybody wanted to know if I was a real deal, if I was a fluke. And I think that performance right there just proved it. So your first fight was a hard fought fight with Tony Ferguson, one of the best in the division. Mm -hmm. You just beat a serious victory in John McDessie. What's next for you? Who do you, is there anyone particularly you want? Or nah, whoever you, wants it. Whoever anyone, wants it. Anyone who's got the guts to step up? No, it don't matter. Anybody. Where's the purple suit? Why don't you wear it this time? You got new shoes on today. No, these are <laughs> Good old. Good job, man. Good job. <laughs> It's in the locker room. It's coming out. The last time you wore it for the, the scrum. Yeah, well, I didn't have a chance to go back there yet. Okay. Right. <laughs> I, I, I liked it. I'm not mocking you, no, just for the record. Okay. So you bought a car with the uh, the bonus last time. What, if you get the bonus, do you have plans on what you're going to do with it? Yeah, probably invest it. Do something smart with it. Okay. Yeah, I had to play a lot of catch up with my last couple games. Right. Years of poverty. Uh, so this one, yeah, just, uh, I don't know. Nothing fancy. Thank you. If I get it. We're right. going to uh, Thailand on Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, what's the plans for post fight celebrations tonight? I imagine it can't be too long because you got a flight to catch tonight. You know, I got one of my best friends from high school in town and uh, and my girlfriend as well, my parents. So I think we're going to go out, get a few drinks, enjoy ourselves a little bit before we go and crash. You also mentioned, sorry, that uh, this is the first full training camp yeah. of your career in, I think, four years, right? No, uh, a little over two years. Two years. Yeah. So this is the result. Yeah. If you continue to get those full training camps, this is what happens. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good performances every time. Hey, Lando, how was uh, Toronto? How was it being in Toronto during this week? You know, man, I really haven't even left my room that much at the hotel. Taking it low key, relaxing, letting my body rest, and just uh, hanging about. Would you, would you like to compete again in the Toronto part if you uh, come funny? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'd like to come in the summertime, though, when it's warm and I can go check things out. For sure, for sure. <laughs> How much do you uh, credit your team for this win? Uh, obviously, a lot of your uh, teammates on this card uh, really sort of helping you, you know, for this matchup. Yeah, man. Uh, there's so much credit to go to the teammates. Uh, the coaches as well, but the teammates. So many techniques learned from them, so many insights, uh, so many rounds with those guys. And I mean, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. Having this experience now with the full camp, I mean, if, if a short notice fight were to come up, are you at a place now in your career where you wouldn't entertain that or would the circumstances have to be right to take a short notice fight? Yeah, there's variables, so I'm not going to take... Uh, it, it depends on the fight. It depends on the fight. It depends on where I'm at shape-wise in that point of time. Thank you, London. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Congrats.